there's no lactate in the world for this today. We're just gonna go full send and like pray and whatever happens, happens. We are gathered here today to try all the Good Humor ice cream that is for sale. We have the super, super classics and we have some of the new limited edition releases. I'm tenderly caressing and staring at the Vianetta. This is possibly the worst shoot we could do for someone who's lactose intolerant, but I really don't give a shit because this is all going to be like pure childhood nostalgia, not just for me, but for all of you. I mean, this is like, this is after school ice cream truck, walking home from school with a few quarters in your pocket and like buying a bunch of these. I hope the good humor ice cream from my childhood that I really fondly think about still holds up today because those are precious memories. Those are very, those are priceless. We're starting with the Vianetta. This has been in the UK for a very long time and it was discontinued in the US until this year. So that was 30 years with no ice cream cake, which is really sad. It says it's made for sharing and look, it has like me, husband, mom, dad. When in actuality, it's like me, later in the evening me. <laughs> I mean, it does come on a serving tray and just by looking at it, it looks like it's frozen Cool Whip. I've never had this one. I do have to say it, it's really soft ice cream. Like it really reminds me of if you've ever frozen Cool Whip and eaten it, that's the consistency. It looks really airy. Oh wow. Huh. It's so crunchy and light and fluffy. Now I get one more bite. I thought it was gonna be chocolate wafers, like more cakey, but it's more like a sh chocolate shell in the layers. So it's hardened chocolate shells and then like a Cool Whip. <laughs> How many brain pieces am I gonna have today? Four, five. Okay, so this one just evaporates in your mouth. It feels like it didn't even happen. Like my stomach doesn't even, it's not registering that there was anything put into it. I don't know if like the hype is worth it. I do like that it's a softer ice cream though. That is really nice. If you brought this to a party, everyone would be like, they would, I mean, you could probably tell someone that you made this yourself. You could pretend, although everyone knows what this is, so. I don't know if this is gonna be my favorite. It's lacking like another texture or it needs more chocolate or it needs another flavor in there. But this is, this is a good start. It's a good start. We have the chocolate eclair next, which has the signature cake coating on it. And this was my favorite, like just eating the coating. I didn't even care about the ice cream. The coating, oh. Mm. So cold, so good. Brain freeze and frozen teeth is the Ow. theme of the day. Ow. <laughs> I don't bite into ice cream. I, I refuse to bite into ice cream. My teeth are so sensitive and they're expensive. My parents spend a lot of money on my teeth. <laughs> so you have that chocolate ice cream on the inside, but I wouldn't even call it ice cream. It truly is a frozen dairy. <laughs> it's Tootsie Roll chocolate. You know how Tootsie Roll chocolate is not quite it's not real chocolate, right? It's not even milk chocolate, that's kind of what this is. So it's like a watery chocolate, frozen watery chocolate. The crumb though, amazing. I will eat the crumb all day long. Oh my God, they, if they don't sell the crumb of this in like a little container, they're, they're missing out. What is this one? Okay, ooh! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's a pop tart one. Brown sugar, cinnamon, pop tart, good humor bar. It looks like it's like just chunks of brown sugar. Mm-hmm. And the white part, it looks like the crust of a pop tart. Honestly, this is probably one of the better crossovers, pop tarts and ice cream. This is freaky accurate for the pop tart. It tastes just like the brown sugar cinnamon pop tart that I've, that we've all loved, but that I did a taste test of a while last summer. Wow. That's like a warm hug from your grandma. I wish we had this as kids. I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10, but very close to a 10 out of 10. 
Creamsicle is one of the most classic original flavors that you can get from Good Humor. But before I go into it, I have to tell you a fun fact. And that is that Good Humor was the first company to come up with the ice cream on a stick. Now, you know Popsicle, which is the other brand that was trying to do the same thing at a really similar time. But theirs is like a sorbet fruit flavored, where this is dairy ice cream on a stick. They started selling them, and when they sold them, they started using a truck an ice cream truck. They were the first people, first people to put something on a stick and the first people to have an ice cream truck. But when they made the ice cream truck, they made it this big white vehicle and they made sure that all the men, only men could serve the ice cream for good humor until 1967. All the men like wore these like really nice white, clean, crisp uniforms and like they saluted men and they tipped their hat to women because they were trying to make it like, this is a clean, classy thing, even though it's ice cream. It's a really delicate orange flavor with the vanilla, and it's such a thin shell of the orange. Like once you get into it, it's really that creamy, soft vanilla flavor, which is my favorite. When I used to be really irresponsible with my drinking habits, my favorite thing to do is like creamsicle shots. Did you ever do it where you take like whipped vodka and orange juice and you mix it together, you just chug it. You can also make it an actual drink. Oh, God. My one complaint about these popsicles is that they are such a softer ice cream that they do this. They just break apart, which is great because when you're eating it, it's really easy to like actually bite into. It doesn't hurt your teeth because it's not like, it's not hard to do, but you have to eat it quickly. This one's toasted almond. And you might have a hard time finding this one depending on the time of year because it is a very special one, but it's also one of their, I believe it's one of their original flavors. I love that you can actually see little almond flakes on there, little coating, little crumbs. I don't like anything almond flavored, so this is not gonna go the way we want it to. It is on par, like it tastes like a non-alcoholic amaretto shot, if, if that makes sense. Super sweet, super, like I love the crunch, this is an adult flavor. It's, yeah, it's an adult flavor. I can't imagine a little kid eating that and enjoying it. What I do have to say about all the ice cream bars is how easy they are straight out of the freezer. You can bite into them and they're already soft. And that is some weird science that they did. I don't want to know how, it, how they do it. We have Dale Jr. Like that looks pretty accurate. I want to know like, how did they, and they have a signature on here which, you know, if you were trying to impersonate him, now you have it from the ice cream sandwich. Yeah, it's just like a vanilla cookie. Um, I am delighted to have this one. This chocolate ice cream is better than the chocolate we had in the chocolate eclair. I don't know if they're the exact same, but this one feels more like ice cream and less like icy chocolate. The cookie is like those really cheap grocery store ice cream sandwiches. You know where, you, you know it's good when it's getting stuck to your finger like that. Oh, it's that really, like it's a soggy cookie in the best of ways. Like it just, it's getting stuck to my tooth. Oh, I wish there was a way of selling cookies like this, where it's just a really, really moist cookie. Wow. That's amazing though. Mm hmm I love the cookie on it. No complaints. This we is. have our, WW Superstars on our cookie sandwiches. And on the back we have John Cena, which his face has a fucking hole in it. On the other one it did too. Why do they keep putting holes in John Cena's face? He looks like Jason Momoa, so I'm gonna eat from his side because he is my ultimate crush. Um, I would do anything for him. It is so plain. It is just, there's no sprinkles on it. It's literally vanilla. I love the cookie still. Lots of great cookie happening here. I don't know, it's for, this is a very bland sandwich. Bland witch, that's what I'm gonna call it. Fun fact about Good Humor, it was started during the Great Depression and it did super well. Like I think it was, they sold over, it's either $14 million or 14 million product. We will put something here to tell me which one it was. So they did really, really well during the Great Depression because it was a cheap, dessert and when you're in really terrible times like we are right now what do you want you want something that's just super comforting and isn't going to break the bank like you're not gonna be able to go out to dinner and get like a really nice dessert so you have these really easy cheap desserts you know you can walk on the street with it it was 
it did very, very well. The cookie, it's moist and sticky, which I like. It's very, it's a soggy cookie, right? Cause it reminds me of Chips Ahoy cookies where they're, the, ch the actual chocolate chips are super tiny and there's not that many of them actually. Like they make it look like there's a lot, but very few far between. I love the other chocolate chips on the outside. However, I have had much better cookie witches. I would say, I would give this like a five out of 10 if I was rating these. I think it's the cookie, honestly. The ice cream and the chocolate chips are great. The cookie was made with like haste and animosity. This ice cream, again, is that frozen Cool Whip flavor to it, not flavor. Actually, no, it does have the flavor of frozen Cool Whip. The texture is super malleable and soft. What is the ice cream in good humor? What is it? Okay, what? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, we may have to do more research. If anyone knows what the type of ice cream that they're using in the Good Humor cones in the sandwiches that makes it so light, airy, and soft, please let us know in the comments below. Out of all the ones that we've tried so far, that one really does hit the spot. You have that cone, you have the chocolate, you have the peanuts, you have the ice cream. It's just a well-balanced, Dessert. I was gonna call it a meal, but a well-balanced dessert, but could always have more chocolate. I think that's true for anything in life. Always add more chocolate. In 1929, the setting, it was a dark and stormy night in Chicago. Good Humor had its second plant in Chicago. In 1929, they opened their doors and they were like, let's make ice cream. Not so fast. The Chicago mob came in and was like, $5,000 for protection ice cream money or else. And then Good Humor was like, nah. So then the mob was like, okay. And so the mob came in and burned down the fucking Good Humor <laughs> supply factory in Chicago, made national news. Everyone was like, holy shit, the mob. Anyways, made huge news and basically is a huge part of Good Humor's story actually. When you eat Good Humor ice cream, think about the mob and think about how they stood up against them and refused to pay the $5,000 which is $70,000 now a day. This is also one of their original bars, their ice cream bars. I think this is most people's favorite, right? Yeah. The color looks like guava. It looks like this really beautiful, bright pink, kind of corally. Oh, and it has that creamy flavor to it. It's super fake strawberry, but it's like freeze dried fake strawberries with a little bit of vanilla. This one's way better than the chocolate eclair one and I'm usually a chocolate girl. This one is just like unmatched. I love every part of this. There's, this can't go wrong. We have the Reese's ice cream bar. Mm. Oh man. There's nothing to walk you through. Oh man. It's a peanut butter mousse. That's what it is. It's, it's very delicate and light to the touch. And this has been in the freezer and it's instantly melts and is very moussey and, oh. Uh. Okay, I have an idea for them. Good humor if you're watching. Make a Vienna ice cream cake with the peanut butter one. Is this a 10 out of 10? This is as close as it can get, but this is like a 9.8. This one definitely. Wow, incredible. We have the good humor Oreo ice cream bar loaded with real Oreo cookie pieces. Okay, that's, yeah, that is Oreo madness all up on there. Wow. That's a chocolate shell. I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay, this is an Oreo McFlurry, but the McFlurry has so airy and light. That's really similar to this. It tastes just like the McFlurries when the ice cream machine is ever working at McDonald's. I think I like the Oreo one better than the peanut butter. I don't know. My biggest pet peeve when I get cookies and cream ice cream and it has like one little baby speck of cookie in it and you're sitting there like this is just vanilla ice cream with like a dollar upcharge because you said there was cookies in it. This is fully packed in there on the outside, on the inside. 
it's done the work. Are you glad that we did these two last? Mm hmm Very glad. Holy I am extremely pleased. There was a moment of doubt that I had that this was gonna go downhill because I wasn't super happy with some of them. But this, mm, keep these, If never discontinue these. If you discontinue these, I'm gonna fight. That's all I have to say about it.